Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you had a lot of questions on my nutrition and my diet and how much I eat and what I eat and I figured it would be a good idea to go a little bit more in depth about that because it is asked so often. So the way I ate at the beginning of my journey is a little bit different from how I'm eating now. Not dramatically, but still a little different. So I'll, I'll start with how I ate in the beginning of my journey. So when I first started losing weight, I just followed some basic guidelines um, that I knew uh, from seeing a nutritionist in the past and just from kind of using my common sense and figuring, hey, I shouldn't eat something that has a lot of sugar in it or something that has a lot of carbs and that's pretty much what I went off a base by so like I said before in a previous video I did kind of change my eating habits cold turkey so I mean if you have trouble doing that you can always try doing one thing at a time like replacing your snacks or just replacing pop with more water or you know whatever you find manageable but in terms of myself I did it all kind of cold turkey so in the beginning um, I really upped my intake of fruits and vegetables and I decreased my carbs so uh, I didn't eat potatoes I didn't eat rice I didn't eat any sort of grains I didn't eat pasta and I didn't eat bread so if I did have rice, it would be with dinner and I would eat like one or two tablespoons just to kind of satisfy my palate in terms of having rice. But I never had pasta and bread. Very, very rarely I would have Ezekiel toast. So if you don't know what Ezekiel toast is, you can look it up, but it's a sprouted grains bread. Um, it comes in the frozen section in your grocery store. So that's all I would eat um, in terms of carbs, starchy carbs. And I really didn't eat sugar, so any processed sugars, I tried not to put in my mouth. So a general guideline that I followed is I would look at the nutritional information for anything I was buying if it was in a box. And if it said more than 5 grams of sugar per serving, I wouldn't eat it. So that's one thing you can look out for is if you're reading the ingredients in the nutritional information to something and there's more than five grams of sugar per serving regardless of what the serving size is I would stay away from it that's a good rule to follow if you're just beginning and you don't really know what else to look out for um, yeah and I would try and read ingredients lists and I would try and keep it to like five things that had five ingredients or less Obviously that's really hard. I obviously ate things that had more than five ingredients in them But that was kind of like my general rule of thumb to help me learn what was good and what wasn't um, So aside from that uh, My typical day kind of went in the morning. I would have a smoothie So in my smoothies, I would put a handful of leafy greens which included like usually it was spinach so let's just say spinach and then a cup of frozen berries or other frozen fruits depending on what I was in the mood for um, and then I would put about a quarter to a half of a banana and I would put about a scoop of protein powder either chocolate or vanilla depending on what I was feeling that day um, and then I would put a tablespoon or two of a mix of chia hemp and flax seeds those were key in my diet as well um, and then I would put about a cup to a cup and a half of unsweetened almond milk and I would blend that all up and that would be my breakfast and then for a snack I would have um, uh, yogurt like a small yogurt cup one of those source or Yoplait ones I didn't really pay attention to which ones I was having and another half a cup to a cup of berries so blueberries strawberries raspberries whatever I kind of had in the fridge that was what I would have for a snack and then lunch and dinner were always the same because for lunch I would just take leftovers and I would kind of use them interchangeably depending on what what I had around but it was always some form of an animal protein and a vegetable so it would either be like chicken and broccoli or like 
um, lean ground beef, kind of in like a taco salad style thing. Um, whatever it was, there was always a meat and a veggie portion. So I didn't eat too many root vegetables. So I didn't eat a lot of sweet potato either, but I did sometimes, of course. So another thing I really paid attention to, other than just what I was eating, was really how much I was eating. So what I would do um, at the beginning of my journey, and it stuck with me to this day, is uh, you know how like dinnerware sets come with the normal size plates and like the appetizer size plates? So I started just eating all my meals off of the smaller appetizer size plates. That really helped me learn portion control. And now when I look at a normal size plate, I think, holy crap, it's huge. Like I'm not eating off of this. So that was one really good tip that helped me um, learn portion control. And putting my food in Tupperware really helped as well. But yeah, so lunch and dinner were some form of protein and a veggie. Um, and then I didn't really snack much more um, throughout the day. If I went to the gym um, right after work, I would eat a snack before the gym. Uh, so if I went, was eating my snack before the gym, it was usually a piece of Ezekiel toast uh, with some peanut butter on it and a few slices of banana and I would drizzle some honey on top. That was my pre-gym, pre-workout snack. Uh, and then after the gym, I would have dinner. So I would have whatever I was having for dinner. But if I was gonna go to the gym later on at night, then I would have my dinner before the gym, go to the gym, come home and have a protein shake. So that was kind of how my day was laid out at the beginning of my journey. And in terms of cheat meals, um, I did not have like a once a week cheat meal. I did not have like a once a month I was gonna cheat. I kind of just had like a when I really feel like it, when the craving is too intense and it's been long enough, then I'll have it. I wouldn't deprive myself if I was going out. Um, I would say, okay, I've been doing really good for a month or a few weeks, so now I'm going to reward myself with a cheat meal. And even if I was going to have a cheat meal, I would still try and get a healthy version. So if I was going to have a hamburger, if possible, I would get lettuce buns and a salad on the side. That way I was learning to still eat really well, but not the best choices, obviously. And of course, sometimes I would have full on cheat meal and have my pizza, which is my number one thing. Like I freaking love pizza. So pizza is like the number one thing that I used as a cheat meal. So I recently started seeing a nutritionist again because I was plateauing in my journey and I figured, you know, there's probably some things I can still change about my nutrition um, to help me boost it and to help me make more progress. So I ended up seeing my old nutritionist again and we've changed up my eating plan a little bit. My plan is fully customized to me, my past, any conditions I may have, any concerns I have, and it's tailored to my goals. So everybody is going to be different, so don't, just because this is how I'm eating doesn't mean it's how you should eat. Um, but anyways, I will give you a general outline of how I'm eating now. So nowadays, I am not eating dairy, which I did, did eat before in terms of having like, you know, I would have Greek yogurt if I had like lettuce tacos, for example, or I would have that little yogurt as a snack. Um, uh, so that's one big change. And a second change is that I'm switching over to more plant-based protein. So I'm still in the process of doing that, but slowly but surely I will um, switch over. But yeah, so now um, I kind of documented my day of food and pictures for you guys. So while I'm talking, I will insert, you know, examples of meals that I would eat throughout the day. Um, but for breakfast, sometimes I will still have smoothie, like I mentioned. Um, just the quantities of things I'm putting in is a little different. So instead of a cup of berries, I'm now using a half a cup of berries. Um, instead of, you know, whey-based protein, I'm using plant-based protein. Um, what else? Oh, and now I'm incorporating some healthy fat into it. So I will add like an almond butter or some sort of nut butter to it just to help keep it all balanced. Um, and then 
for my snacks instead of eating you know the yogurt that I would have I'm now eating um, a coconut yogurt a dairy-free coconut yogurt it's made by the company silk which also makes almond milk uh, yeah so that's the kind of yogurt I would be having nowadays and I just add some like pomegranate to it um, so my servings have kind of changed before I was eating probably around like three or four servings of fruits a day and now I'm eating closer to two, two and a half servings of fruits a day. Um, so a little bit lower on the sugar side. Um, my lunch and dinners are still relatively the same except I'm trying to cut out beef and stick to more fish for now. So I'm not a huge fish lover so it's a little difficult for me but I am trying to have more healthy, healthy fish instead of you know the beef and I still have chicken here and there so it's just all about balance and I'm also incorporating more um, leafy greens into my diet so now in the mornings I eat chia pudding usually and, um, and then like I said for my snack I'm having the coconut yogurt with some pomegranate and then I do in order to add some healthy fat I do have about a fourth cup of almonds and walnuts mixed together and then for lunch I'm having green vegetables so like you can see here asparagus and fish so for fish I'm either gonna have um, a wild salmon or a wild cod just depending on the day and then for dinner, I usually have, you know, some form of chicken um, and vegetables. Um, in this specific photo, um, it's a little different because I ended up having red meat this night. So as you can see in the photo, I had half of a steak, I had a couple shrimps, I had some yams, and I had a lot of broccoli. And uh, this is not a typical dinner for me, it was because it was a weekend, <laughs> but yeah, again, I mean, treating myself a little bit, but still sticking super healthy. But on a regular day, it would probably be like chicken and steamed broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Um, in terms of, you know, sauces, barbecue sauces, like dressing, stuff like that, I used to be lenient on that in the beginning of my journey. I wouldn't mind having like one or two tablespoons and that's still totally fine if you're doing that but personally I'm trying to stay away from them just because of the sugar and the stuff that's in them is not the greatest. So I'll still have it here and there but I will have like mustard and hot sauce I'll have sometimes of course. And if I'm having a salad, so a leafy green salad, I'll mix apple cider vinegar with some olive oil together, maybe some lemon juice, but that's about it. That's how I dress my salads. And now my pre-gym gym snack has become an apple with some nut butter. So instead of having the Ezekiel bread, I'm having like an apple and, and like a tablespoon of all natural peanut butter, almond butter, depending on how I feel. Of oils, I only use for cooking, I use coconut oil, avocado oil, and extra virgin olive oil. Those are the only three oils I will use. Um, in terms of drinks, I drink about four liters of water a day, um, and then I'll have, I have one coffee a day. And I am trying to drink more herbal teas now. I'm not a huge tea person, but I'm slowly getting into it. And that's all I have for drinks. I don't drink any pop, I don't drink any diet pop, none of that. So in terms of drinks, that's pretty much all I have. Um, I will go through some things that I used in the past and that I use now. So in the past, at the beginning of my journey, this was the protein powder that I use. Let's see if we can get it to focus. <laughs> I guess not but it is called New Zealand Way, and I usually would have the isolate version of it, but this is what I got the last time, and this comes in chocolate and vanilla, and um, it does have dairy in it, so it's not vegan friendly at all, but because I'm sticking, um, staying away from dairy nowadays, my protein powder is Vega, and I currently have the chocolate version. I don't love the taste of this, but it does the job. So that's the protein powder I will use in my smoothies uh, nowadays. Um, in terms of supplements, um, I used to take enzymes three times a day. 
this is just by the brand now and I used to take um, probiotics I think it was the brand renew life and they were a hundred billion I can link that down below I don't have any more with me unfortunately I finished it but um, and now I'm switching my supplements around a bit so I'm not taking probiotics or digestive enzymes anymore sorry for the lighting and location change but my camera did die and it's no longer daytime so we got to work with what we have but yeah as I was saying so instead of taking enzymes and probiotics I am now taking um, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in water in like a half a cup of water and I do this twice a day um, and that kind of replaces um, the probiotic and digestive enzymes and helps with my gut health. Um, if you don't know about all the benefits of apple cider vinegar, please go read about it online and you will see that maybe you will just want to try taking it as well. Um, in terms of supplements, the only thing I really use is pre-workout um, and right now I'm using this Motivate Burn it has like a fat burner in it this is what I've been using I can link that down below I buy it from Forefront Nutrition uh, yeah and that's all I really use hope that gave you guys like a general overview I really tried to give you sort of a sense of what I would eat in a day and drink in a day and what I sort of stayed away from especially in the beginning of my journey I'm gonna end off with the question um, that a lot of people ask me and a lot of people want to know and I never have an answer for them and I'm sorry to tell you that I don't have an answer this time either but it's how many calories do you eat in a day and what's your macronutrient breakdown and I don't know I don't have answers to either of those um, I never counted or weighed my food I never counted a single calorie I wasn't interested because I knew whenever I would do that in the past, I would fail. And I really wanted something that was sustainable for life. And I knew that I wasn't gonna be counting calories all the time forever. So I just decided to make the best food choices I could day in and day out. And you know, if I messed up, if I ate something I shouldn't, or if I overate and got bloated, or if I ate too much sodium, you know, like, these things happen, and I would just recommit to being my best self and making the best choices the next day. So it really didn't matter to me. I knew that I just needed to change my habits, I needed to learn portion control, and just needed to eat what was good and eliminate what I knew wasn't doing good for my body. Um, I hope that makes sense. So, in terms of calories, guys, I I really don't know. I honestly don't. If I had to guess, I would say anywhere between like 1,600 to 1,900 calories, depending on the day. Um, that's just sort of my, you know, guesstimate, but again, I really don't know. And in terms of a macronutrient breakdown, um, I tried to get one for you guys <laughs> from my nutritionist because I honestly don't know um, and honestly I'm just gonna read you guys her response straight in her words so you guys can see that I am not lying. She says, your protocol is personalized for you based on your history. It does not revolve around macros or calories but rather eating anti-inflammatory foods reducing triggers, therefore eliminating certain foods, reducing insulin, certain carbs, balancing hormones, and optimizing digestion and nutrient absorption. You are focusing on eating whole foods, which include quality protein, high fiber, vegetables and plant protein, healthy fat, and low sugar. I hope that makes sense to everyone. So, Pretty much high protein, high quality protein, lots of fiber and vegetables, plant proteins, healthy fats, and low sugars. And um, my nutritionist was kind enough for, to tell me to let you guys know that if you have any further questions, uh, you can feel free to contact her if you're interested or if you're interested in working with her. 
or you can just check out her blog and her website and her Instagram. She posts some great recipes as well. So I will have all that information for you guys so you can check that out. Uh, yeah, so I hope that makes sense for everyone. I really hope I covered everything uh, about my nutrition as best as I could. Honestly, if there's something I didn't cover, then I probably don't know the answer either. <laughs> I'm not a nutritionist at all. Like I said, I just try and make the best choices for my life. Um, I try and make the best choices based on what I know is good for me. Um, and everybody's different. Everybody has a different background. Everybody starts somewhere else, right? So I can't give you personalized you know, help or information, and you will have to seek that out on your own. Yeah, I can't really, I can't really go into details um, in terms of recipes. There's so many recipes out there. Uh, I get a lot of my inspiration for recipes from Pinterest. Um, I will leave my a link to my Pinterest um, as well if you guys want to go and see the pins that I pin to get recipe inspiration. Um, other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. If you still have questions about my diet and nutrition, um, please leave them below and I will try and answer them to the best of my ability. Um, other than that, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. Um, I want to keep this channel growing and I want to keep helping as many people as possible. So if you have any other suggestions for videos or anything you'd like to see in the future, again, just let me know down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I post almost daily on there and I would love to interact with you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you guys and I will see you in the next one.